Hello everybody. Um, today I am going to be showing you how to make a wheel inside of Adobe Illustrator CC. Um, okay, so for starters you're going to want to go to Illustrator if you don't have it open already and um, make a new artboard. Myself, I just used um, 1080 by 1080 which is just a standard uh, Instagram file size. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of that. And it's pretty simple. Honestly, there's just a few um, kind of hidden tricks and tips that you can use. Um, so to start off, you're gonna go to the ellipse tool and you're gonna make, make sure your point size is eight. Um, and you're gonna make uh, quite a large circle. So, um, like that. Um, and then you're just going to align it to the center. Make it easy like that. Um, and then from there, you can actually hit Command C to copy and then Command F to bring to the front. Um, and then you can just do Shift Option Click to make it a little bit smaller. Right, so we're going to bring it in like that. And then Command C, Command F again. Shift Option like that. Command C, Command F one more time. A little bit smaller like that. Command C, Command F again. Bring it all the way down like that. And then Command C, Command F one last time. Oops. Command C, Command F. Yeah, just like that. Um, I don't know what happened there, so I'm gonna eight point font for all of it. Okay. Um, so for the spokes, I want five spokes. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle just like that, I think. I think that's good. That's what I like. Uh, and then you're going to go to the direct selection tool, or you can hit hotkey A. It just does that. Um, for me, I'm going to make the top a little bit more narrow like that. Bring it in just so it's a little bit wider at the bottom. And then I'm going to curve the top in a little bit, just like that. Um, and then from there, you can hit hotkey R, because we want to rotate it. Hotkey R, option click the center. And um, I want five spokes. So I'm going to do, do I want five? Yeah, I'll do five. 360 divided by 5 uh, is actually 72, but if you hit copy, it'll just do like that. And then you can do Command D for the rest, and it will just do that for you. Super simple. Uh, okay. Um, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to select all of the spokes that we have. So Shift Option, or just Shift Click, select the spokes, and then select this one here in the middle and then once you click onto that one we're going to go to our pathfinder tool which i have on the side already but if you go up to window and scroll down you're going to go to the pathfinder right there um, that's going to pull up this little setting up at the top and you're going to go to this one on the left side that says unite click on that and oh, what happened Did I not do it right? Okay, whatever. That's not supposed to happen, but yeah, you can do that. Uh, and then you can use the direct selection tool to curve the edges off again. All right, there we go. Yeah. What's happening there? Bring it back a few steps. Bing. There we go. Boom. 
Um, just like that. Okay, so now it's starting to kind of look more like a real wheel. If you want, you can make... Okay, I'm going to go on. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller in the center, just like that. And then put it back to 8 point font. Okay. Um, and then from there, you can hit Shift-M, or you can go onto the side to the... Um, it's the same place as the paint bucket tool. It's called the Shape Builder. So I'm going to click onto that. I'm going to click, actually, hang on, I'm going to highlight my spokes and shift click on the outside circle. And then I'm going to go to the Shape Builder tool and you hit Option, click on that, and boom, get through that little ugly, get through that little ugly line like that. And then if you look, we have more of a wheel now. So now it's all starting to come together. Um, from there, I'm going to do Command C, Command F again. And I'm going to make that one a bit bigger. I don't know why I keep doing that. Yeah, just like that. All right. And a tire or a wheel needs to have places for bolts. I'm going to put one just right there. I'm going to save this wheels for a Honda, so we're going to go for a four bolt pattern. Um, back to our rotate tool, so R, and then option click the center. And we're just going to go 360 divided by four. Copy. Boom. Command D, Command D. There we go. Awesome. I'm going to fill all of these ones with black. Just like this. Make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, and then now from here, you can kind of just have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to make the wheel not like a full black, right? Because it's going to go like that. But I'm going to go like that. I'm going to hit K, port my paint bucket tool, and go to this one. Oops. Select all. Okay, paint bucket. I'm gonna get rid of them in there. Um, and I did a gold wheel for this one, so let's go for like a silver. Let's go find a silver in here. Oh, maybe there's not. Let's just use brown. Let's use brown for now. You can use your own paint swatches if you want to. Um, but I'm going to start out there with the dark brown and go a little bit light. Oh, maybe not. Perfect. And then I'm going to make these ones lighter. And then go into here. Go dark for there. And maybe like dark brown. There in the middle. So there you go. There's a basic wheel for you. Um, over on this one I added these little rubber marks or tire tread, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can do that if you'd like, but yeah, that's how you make a wheel. Thank you everybody.